Hey guys, what's up? I just wrapped up here at the red carpet for the after party. Just talk to the cast. Check it out here on Front Row Live. Hello, it's Young O. How you doing? Hi. I like all real shit in front of me and all bullshit aside. I've been sick with it my whole life and I ain't even die. Yo, wrote 100,000 raps and never had to lie. I watched Passion of the Christ twice and I ain't even cry. Is that the flush of a record deal, Ramel? Huh. Ramel is in LA. That's his intern, Bernard. Look, yo, we've been going hard for like three years. Hey, Owen. I, I got a show. Owen is a rapper. Oh, cute. You either with me or... Tonight, this show is gonna get us the deal. You either with me or... Tonight's about fate. It's about murdering that mic out there. Win, 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 win. That's Wiz Khalifa. Do you think? Thanks, fam. I know this will come as no surprise to anyone here, but Wiz Khalifa has some incredibly strong weed. Why does Jeff believe so much in Owen? Jeff believes so much in Owen just because he knows that he has that talent deep down and he's just beginning to scratch the surface of it. The thing about Owen is he's sort of lost confidence in himself over time. Over, over these years that they've been grinding and trying to get a record deal, he sort of thought that, you know, I've made countless mixtapes, I've released countless samples of my music, and none of it's sticking. So, you know, maybe it is time to think about something else. Maybe it is time to pursue a backup plan, right? But for me, for Jeff, it's like this plan or bust, you know what I mean? I am with him all the way, that is my best friend, I don't have any other friends, so that is my guy, and I just believe in him fully, you know? I know that he has that talent, and I'm just, I work throughout the entire movie to get him, to get that talent really out of him. And once it comes out, that's when, that's when we make the magic, baby, that's when the magic happens. Now this is your, your first, like, lead role, so what, what was your experience like working with Ian? How did he kinda make you feel comfortable in, Thank you for on, on that set? that question. That's just a beautiful question from you. Um, Ian Edelman uh, is an absolute dream to work with. I mean, if I could do a million movies with him, I would. Uh, so what, I, what I'll say about Ian is I've been a fan of his ever since How to Make It in America because I thought when I was watching that show, that was the first show in a while to actually capture that authentic New York energy. You know, I'm born and raised. So naturally, on our first director session, I was terrified meeting him. But it just confirmed what I was going to find out later, which is just he's the epitome of an actor's director. Like he, to the point where he trusted us to make decisions for the characters, to improv, to play around with the scenes so that we could get the best and most natural take. You know, occasionally Kyle and I went a little overboard on that front. Like, there was one time I remember when we didn't even know what the lines were on the script and we were just sort of playing around with the scene and we just heard Ian yell, like, cut. And then he just came up and he was like, so guys, love what you're doing, love everything. One note, you haven't said a word on the paper, not a word. So if we can maybe, like, you know, read the scene as it is on paper and then we play around, that would be great. That would be great. So we were like, Ian, you know what? That's the new model right there. That's the new mantra. So we got it one way as it was every single time, just on paper. And then Kyle and I were given the freedom and discretion to play around with it. But, you know, Ian, I have, he was our rock on set. I would have been lost without him. He really helped me discover the character. I sort of just like, I absolutely needed him. And I, I hope we get to do so much more in the future. You played the role of Bernard. Yes. And what is it about this role that kind of drew you, drew your attention to do it? Because I felt like I know this guy. <laughs> so as soon as I read it, I was like, oh man, I've hung out with this guy before. So as soon as I read it, I was like, I need to be in this. Let's do it. Now, what was the difference for you on set coming from a uh, Netflix -like series to this being a full film? Uh, no different. Uh, instead of actors and comics, it was just a bunch of rappers. So I guess like since they didn't know what was going on and we were kind of the people with the chops, like, it was cool because they just came through with all their crews and different vibes, so they were just cool as shit. And they were much more relaxed, I will say. You, they were cooler than you thought. Was not expecting you to be such an actor. You think so? Um, neither was I. I mean, this is my first role ever doing this. This is my first time ever being in a movie. This is my first time ever acting in anything other than uh, high school drama class. Shouts out to Stephanie Rossiter, my drama teacher. You're the best. I love you. Um, yeah, man, but it was really exciting. So it's, it's kind of cool that you're kind of living this life in real life. Kyle is really like kind of experiencing this musician lifestyle and trying to get heard and this and that. And, you know, that's what Owen portrays in the film. Um, so, you know, what were some of, uh, when you were creating this, like what were some of like the situations that kind of reminded you of you like trying to put your name out there, trying to get these shows? And You know, I, 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 it took me back to being 17 years old when I put out my first mixtape, technically. <laughs> And I had my homie, my homie Mitch, that lived up the street from me, burned all of, I remember I made this mixtape, right? I recorded all the stuff myself. Then me and my friend, we stood up until like 7 a.m. burning CDs. 
Then we went to high school the next day and begged people to take them. Sometimes I would pay other kids like five bucks just to take one in front of some other kids so they would want one. Um, and I just remember the whole grind of being a teenager who wanted to, um, you know, chase his dream, even though everybody else thought it wasn't going to happen. Because I've been that before. I was Owen. I was a high schooler trying to make something of himself when nobody else thought it was going to work. And then I became, you know, Kyle the Rapper. So I know, like, I know kind of how it feels, you know what I mean, to be on that island of being like the one person, whether in your friend group, in your neighborhood, in your community, in your city that really believes you're going to make something unachievable happen. You have experience on the screen, but Kyle doesn't. It's his first time acting. so you would never know. You, that's exactly what I said when I was watching. But what was it like being on set with him? Oh, he's like, I thought he was joking. I mean, he's, I don't know if he just like faked it till he made it, but it didn't matter because he's super charming and like really committed and we just really had a blast. This time, you know, what made Ian, the director, how, how did he make this experience, you know, different for you since you've, you've experienced, you know, the TV for a while? Uh, Ian made this different because he was so passionate about the project like he just, he's been trying to get this made for a long time and it yeah. finally came together and he really knows a lot about this world and what's cool about Ian is like he makes you feel like you also know this world and he was fascinated I'm sure by me talking about the 504 boys and the hot boys from New Orleans he's like who but that's interesting tell me more um, but yeah he was just really open with us he wanted us to play he never tried to put us in a box and he just he, I think he just chose who he thought were these characters, and then we just did our thing. Now, why, why did this film uh, catch your attention? Why did you want to be part of it? When I first read it, I was like, oh, my brothers would be proud if I did this movie. So I did it for them, but also myself. I love the character Alicia. Obviously, I love the story. I love the two together. I cannot wait to see Kyle and Harry together. Right. It's, it's just going to blow my mind, because I know them in real life, and it's going to be amazing. Um, but I thought Alicia was really cool. She's a nonconformist, which is very much like me, and that's what my brothers taught me to be. So. I think they'll be proud. Let me tell you something. Look, let me shout out to these incredible guys. No, no. Shout out to these incredible guys on their movie. You know what I'm saying? We Liddy for life. I'm excited. I'm excited for my brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? This the movie is going to be lit. After party, go watch it right now. ASAP. Thanks for watching here on Front Row Live. Be sure to check out the film August 24th, only on Netflix.